All right, here's US Bank Stadium. Going to see the RV show. All right, look at all those campers. We're gonna go take a tour of a bunch of them. So this is the Zinger Light. We got uh, 18 rear bed RV, I think. There's a rear RV. I'm not sure what that man is, but. It's a nice bed. Yeah. Storage. See, it's got the side storage here, but I do like when they have the upper storage up there. You know, there is some storage under the bed. Yeah. Yeah, usually, oh yeah, we got some storage there. This, I don't know if this flips up at all. Daddy, you want this? Nope. So what I like is when uh, you have a four place seating dining table without a slide out. And I love the full size fridge. That's what I've been wanting. Let's see. Yeah, I love the nice big fridges. Us. Yeah, that's fine. Uh -oh. And here's the bathroom. What do you think? That's you like this the one? Tiniest tub. You like how the toilet slants a little so you can get your legs in there? <laughs> little tub. It is not very neat. There it is. All right, here's the Zinger light. This is the 18RK. It's got my initials, RK. So this was for me. <laughs> What's different with this? So it's a little bit different layout, right? So the bed is sideways, which I kind of like that. Yeah, I have to. A little wardrobe. Can open the windows? Yep, see it's got a little bit wider table, looks like. Open the windows? Like that. Oh, look at that fridge in here. The old pull out couch, it probably comes down into a bed. Yeah. But yeah, I love these newer campers with the bigger refrigerators. This is similar to ours. Yeah. This one doesn't, I wonder if this has got propane. It doesn't look like it. Same results for the bathroom. Yeah. Except a little different setup, but the still the same. All right, let's keep looking. <laughs> For those of you who like the camper vans, it's only one hundred and forty-five thousand dollars. Oh, I haven't been in one of these yet. Yeah, that's why I wanted. Oh, this is nice. A TV. Yeah. It's a TV. It's, it's, on like, it's got like your overhead like, bin space, like an the airplane. TV is so <laughs> close to you. Yeah, is that a little bit too close? <laughs> Yeah, they got the back doors opened up there. Pretty cool. Huh? Pretty cool, yeah. Oh, this one's got a nice big fridge too. And a microwave. Oh, shocking. Yeah, it was very shocking. Yeah, they got a little button to push in. Mm, what's new? Where's the bathroom? It's kind of neat. I think, I found the I think bathroom. that's the bathroom. You got to push it in Go like this. There, take a look. It doesn't have a tub. No tub? Why are they, oh, how are they spool? Yeah, they do. See, it's a shower. Apparently, you shower while sitting on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta uh, make we, space when you got it, you know? You can shower into the sink. <laughs> All right, next one. All right, now here's the Winnebago one for 162000 a little higher end one. It's got the off road tires and stuff. Look at how this thing. Yeah. This is so cool. Like oh, that you is can cool. Sit like this and like this. Oh, yeah. The front driver's seat spins around. So it turns into a seating area. There's a little kitchen right there. And uh, a little overhead space. What's in here? Is this the. How oh, do you open it? Let's see. There's a little. It's locked, I don't know. This is like the tiniest bed. Or seat oh, see this up here? There's a bunk bed up top. Oh. So this drops down. There he is. Have you ever been in one of these type of yeah. camper vans? Isn't that cool how they spin around? So you can... It's a little claustrophobic. It is, they are tight. I'll give it that. Yeah. What's in here? Just a, So it looks like storage space, but these probably... Oh, the bed, that's where the bed comes down. And... Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Let's jump out. Oh. 
So it's just wide open, but the, the bed drops down. Very nice. All right, this one is Imagine. This one looks pretty cool, actually. It's a dual axle. It's got a front and rear entrance. Uh, 23 foot, it looks like. $38,000. It has a couch. There's the layout. I'm going to go in the rear side here. Let me read. Hey! <laughs> the back sides. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god. It's like right there, right out in the open. That in the room. That's funny. Let's see. So this one entrance comes right into the bedroom. It's a pretty big bedroom. And then it has the sliding doors. That's like the worst position for this. Yeah. Somebody could be taking a shower. Well, so you got a sliding door and a sliding door there. So you can close this off and make it your own separate little room. What are these buttons? What's Ooh, that? It's fan. Like, That's sort of like the worst position. This is kind of a different layout though. Look at the big kitchen in the back. So yeah. I have a winter couch. Ooh, this is cool. Oh, we built in TVs. Apparently, so it has massage. It has massage? Yeah. Is it vibrating? Sit on it. <laughs> Look at that. A little cup holder that has massage and heat in it. Oh, here, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, it's not very strong though. Yeah, but it does. Feel I can do. Feel, I can do feel it. I feel it much. Massage my back there a little bit. But... That's fun. Is there storage under here? No. Yeah, that lifts up. Well, this was interesting. They got some oh. other uh, these. Let's see. Go check them out. All right, we're going on this one. This one's a 22 foot for 36,000. Tandem axle. Yeah? Cool. Look at this massive storage up front, though. That's nice. Alright, should we go in? Yeah, it's a pretty heavy duty stairs. Oh, look at the lighting on that. Look, it also has. That one has heat, too. Yep. Cup holders with heat and massage. It has vibration. Look at that. I like how they got the cupboards up above and stuff, too. And looking the other way, couch. Nice four place table toilet. again. It actually has a good position for TV. the toilet. Alright, reads all into the toilets here. Let's see. It has a good position at least. Good position. Oh, yeah, look at a nice big toilet too. But there instead, are. if you're taking Ooh, a Ooh, that's shower. a bigger shower too. Yeah. This one's got a lot of room. Nice little kitchen area. Mm -hmm. Look at this gas stove. This is like high end. Very nice. And again, the full size fridge. You always wanted a full size fridge. Yep. Ooh, they have So, I like the camper I have, but I'm just getting ideas here. I love the tandem axle camper that's about 19, 20 feet long because it yeah. can hold extra weight. Uh, you can add bigger sweet. tanks, water tanks, and wastewater tanks. And you can get, uh, I'm looking for one with a bigger fridge too, like that. And, uh, just looking for my wish list here. Just wanted to point out in this one, right on the bed there, they got a little cubby there where you can charge your devices, AC and uh, USB ports in there. Oh, all right, head down to the next one. Okay, here's one that's only 17 feet long, but it's tandem axle, so you know it can take a lot of weight. And it's got a nice big awning up there. Two couches. More storage. Yeah, That's two coaches. Yeah, I don't really like this. Ain't really the layout yeah, I like. But I need bunk beds because I gotta bring kids along. Yeah, he's just got a big bathroom. He's got a big fridge. But some of these campers can't. Um... So got a glass over the top of the. I wonder if some of these have like smaller like showers. Yeah. I do like so that. This one has a Murphy bed. Oh, that's my app. Oh, yeah. There, head on down. Everything is shopping me. <laughs> I know. Alright, 15 foot. This one should be a bunkhouse for BH there. It does have a bunk bed. It does? It has a full bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's up there. It folds down from the ceiling. That's a pretty decent sized bed there. Yeah. 
Yeah. So one big bed, one bunk above, four it's place like table. That's so you can put your uh, dishes on and dry them. They just it just folds up. See? Hmm. Pretty cool. Beautiful kitchen in this. Yeah, definitely beautiful. It's got a decent size fridge, I guess. I mean, it's like small, but it has both things. Yeah, it has everything you need. Ooh, Another shot. Big camper. All right, I think we're gonna try out some other brands now. All right, we're getting closer. 19 foot bunkhouse. Let's take a look at the. This is an Apex Nano Off Grid. And it's got a little outdoor kitchen. And let's see the inside. This one has a slide out. There's the bunk beds. You can take a look at the bathroom with the toilet sideways. <laughs> what do you think of those sideways toilets? Interesting. Yeah. That one has a high That's tub like too. The you could walk I wonder if you could. Going to the, party. the tub is up so high, I'd probably hit my head on the ceiling. But they give you a little uh, sunlight there to. Daddy. Yeah. You could wash your hands while you're going to the bathroom. Yeah. Another nice refrigerator. Nice big table. It's got a slide out. Mm. Sideways like bed up these here. Tables. I like this table. And there's the kitchen. What do you think? Is that showing the construction? So this is the side wall. So it's just got uh, styrofoam insulation in there. All right, let's move on. All right, this is the 208 bunkhouse with the slide out. Oh, let's see. It looks like it's just fold down into a bed. Oh, oh, I like, see these ones I like with the big wide bunk beds, and you get the little playhouse down there. <laughs> I guess they're a little bit short, but they're for kids, so it'd be fine. But I like them, they're a little wider. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I like this one. I don't really like, I like just having the bed, I don't like having to fold it down and up every time. One. Yeah. See, and they cover up the sinks and stuff. Do it like this. So you can dry your mm. food. You can dry your food. Yeah, so you can use it as counter space instead. Yes. Alright, they got some Geo Pros down there I want to see. Okay, this is the Geo Pro by Rockwood. Looks like a 20 footer bunkhouse with a slide out. It has a bunk bed. And look at the storage. I love these with the massive storage under there. Bunk bed. Bunk bed. All right. Cool. Yeah. Again, I like it when the beds are sideways, so you save some space there. They got a little little storage up there. This is like the tiniest bunk bed. Here's your slide out. They have pretty tiny bunk beds. Yeah. Little kitchen. Decent sized bathroom. Not too bad. Ooh, a little bit bigger like tub than normal. There. Somebody went in there? Ew! <laughs> <laughs> and here's your bunks. Yeah, this one has that door back there where you can flip up this bunk and use it for storage. Not bad. Not too bad. Air conditioner up there. <laughs> that's funny, that's funny in there. <laughs> now, this is the Rock of Freedom. Get into the pop up campers. Yeah, these uh, these have come a long way. Look really nice. And these are uh, these like A-frame ones. Let's see what these look like. Twenty-three thousand bucks. One bed. Let's see what's in here. Hmm. So just two uh, single beds there, and a little. Uh, what is that? The microwave down there. We got the kitchen over here. Huh? The bathtub in the other one is literally like pretty It has a bathtub a, in there? No. Right there it has a it's the Yeah, this one 
This one is meant for boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? Because, um, because it has no bathroom. Oh. Well, should we see the other one that has a bathroom? Yeah. Okay, let's go. It's not really a bathroom, but Show me. Oh, this one has like, yeah, this one has a little storage up front. Oh, look at that. It has a little pop up there. This one looks complicated. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> You're right, it does have a, I don't know what you call that, an open air bathroom and shower. <laughs> it's got the little shower down there. Yeah, these are usually don't have bathrooms. It's meant for nice boys. big bed over there. It's you. It's meant for boys. Yes. Yes, it probably is. It's definitely meant for like a day, right? Yeah. All right. This is what Reggie's been looking at. Stuff these off-road type ones. There's a couple of them. There's three of them here. This one has a bunch of pop oats. These are all Freedom Rockwoods. For 19,000. Hmm. <coughs> yeah, I just can't get into the old pop up campers anymore. There's just way too much work to set up. <laughs> and you still got canvas, which is not fun in thunderstorms. They do yeah. give you a lot of room. Give you a lot and so every time you gotta you know take that lower that down all right this is the no bow for no boundaries this is 19 and a half feet about 20 about twenty seven thousand dollars this is kind of cool I've been looking at these a little bit very nice this is just the one bed one couch and so the closet area here. Huh? Yeah. Huge fridge right there. And there's the bathroom. Yeah, right. yeah. Yep. You have to go that tiny one. Which one? That tiny one. Oh, the tiny one. Oh yeah, here we go. This thing is tiny. How big is it? Um, 16 one. So 16 foot, it says, but that, that doesn't even look that big. It's gotta be smaller than that. Look at that. He's telling you it's like super tall though. Yeah, where's, I mean it says 16.1, but that can't be 16 feet. Yeah, well, let's go look. Pull it right off the package. bat. It has a delivery package. A delivery package. Oh, does it come with packages? Oh, geez, that's all there is. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Look at the huge fridge, though. So, this is kind of like my other camper where you got to put down the table and make a bed. Yeah, this is a little. This is definitely a one-person deal. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. All right, now we got the shorter version. It's a little pull out on the side with. Uh, this is a cooler. Right on the other side. Okay. All right, you go over there. Let's see, maybe it's on this side. All right, yeah. So it must be a. It's like a probably DC powered cooler. It has a back door. A back door. It's got two doors. And you literally get a coach. Yeah, cool What's in here? What's in here? Yeah, Nothing! <laughs> what is it? Let me see what's... Oh yeah, that's the... That's the back. Yeah, it just folds open and you can... Oh, you can probably... I wonder if... You can open it up and have like a screen to... Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's floor space. Oh, cool. I've never seen that before. Ooh, look under here. Yeah, yeah. see, there's tie downs. So it's like a oh, yeah, so. You can put your. Yeah, probably bikes or something in here. 
You look pretty comfy over there. You gonna smash your fingers? Wait, I think the couch might turn into a bed. It does, it folds all out. Hey, it looks like your nugget. <coughs> that foam thing, oh, you just it unfold the... It looks like a nugget. It is. This won't be too bad. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the wolf pup. This one looks nice, little aggressive tires there. Here's where the bunk beds are, you can open that up. Usually these flip so you can store stuff in here. This one actually I could afford. Let's see. Outdoor fridge. Oh this one's only twenty thousand. That's the one over there. Let me look in here quick. This is a 17 JG. So it must be 17 feet I'm guessing. They all have that camper smell, don't they? So this is a slide out with a big U-shaped bench, which holds a lot of people. It has bunk beds. Yeah. And you can emergency exit from your bunk bed. Oh, good. good. It's got the big fridge. Pretty decent bathroom. It's got a sliding door. Or did they just take the door off? They just took the door off. You want to pee in that one? There was wood scratches though. Oh no. Alright, Reggie says we need to see the other one. Oh, well, here's another cool feature of these ones like this. You can just pull these out. Instead of having to lift up the cushions. Alright, here's another one. The Patriot Edition. 16... I think bunk house slide out. Kind of just like the other one, but narrower. It's probably only a set. It's not an eight foot wide one. No. So, so what's the S mean then? Apparently, it didn't mean slide out. I don't know, but you got the big fridge. I do. Daddy. Yep. Yeah, this I could work with. This it doesn't have the big table, which I like them when they're eight feet wide. You get the, the four place table. Skinnier and you get the the little. I put all my luggage behind the bed there, where you get an extra foot of space. Yeah, we well, have a family, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Got another escape? Don't jump out the window. Nope. <clears throat> yeah. It's a door. It's a it is a door, because like I said, these things can flip up, so I think, so you can store stuff in here easily. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is more my style, getting there. Okay, now this is Reggie style, the clipper, a little off-road version. His grill, oh, he loves these little grills. So it looks like it just the top just lifts up and then that's all there is for setup. What do you think, one person? Yeah. Perfect. Bed, kitchen, and a cooler. That's like one of those, yeah, powered. This is all I need right here. That's what Reggie wants. Yep. Mama, I thought you were going to buy like a it's camper. <laughs> is that what she said? Yeah. <laughs> what do you got? It's like you got a nice stand up and gym. Yeah, we have a mm -hmm. pretty good camper already. <clears throat> so this is an escape. Um, 18, looks like. Take a look. Just a couch up front. The mid bathroom and is this a toy hauler kind of thing? Or is it? This is a kind. I don't really like these layouts either. That the little back end opens up into a screen there. And yeah, it's kind of a dining table. Where do you sit? <laughs> Must have different chairs. Yeah. We can go up to All right. Yeah, so the bed, 500 pounds, this thing lowers down. There's your bed. Yeah. Okay, here's one of the ones I was first looking at. Sportsman Classic. This one's a 17 foot, and uh, these ones have aluminum siding, so they're lightweight and they're a little bit cheaper. But they have some uh, good designs. This one's just meant for one person, apparently, or two people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, this one has a curtain. 
too. Hey! That's, that costs extra. <laughs> yeah, I need the bunkhouse layout, but yeah, these are actually pretty decent campers. Alright, these are the Vintage Cruiser by Gulfstream. So let's see what these look like inside. It's sort of like... It's supposed to look like a camper from like the 1950s pretty much. But it's new. So, as you can see, they use all the color that they used to have in the old uh, wood, stained wood look. But it's probably, is it actual or is it, looks like laminate. <laughs> it's not real. I don't like this one. No, I'm not too keen on these either. Oh. It's got the nice fridge, but it's uh, red. Ooh, big shower. Oh, bunk beds. Look at just for you and who else? Who gets to sleep in the other bunk bed? Abby. Abby does? Yeah. They're not really bunk beds. This is a... Uh, Let's <laughs> wood in the bathroom. Interesting. A toilet cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> is that, I'm surprised this is as light as it is. There's a few of them. Take your pick. Here's a green one over here. All right, we're gonna go in the green one here. This one's uh, about thirty thousand. It's like twenty-three foot maybe. I like this. You like this? The colors of this better? Yeah. Still has the whole vintage look. You got the lights there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like all these bright colors. <laughs> Same layout there back there. Yeah, they just switched them, right? And it's modern appliances anyway. Yeah. Now here's a tandem axle Ibex 19 MSB. So probably 19 feet. This is kind of Oh, look at this kitchen. Big old kitchen. And you get the uh, world map here. Is that so you can mark off where you've been? Well, that's a Murphy bed, just folds down. I'm not keen on those Murphy beds. This couch is already laid out. This is, this is kind of neat, those little bar stools. and Sit up here. Lots of counter space. Yeah, don't really care for this one. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. Like you like the map? Yeah. Would you buy it just for the map? No. Yeah. Oh, me either. Well this one's more up our alley here, Aspen Trail LE. It's a 1980 bunko, so 19 feet, I'm guessing. Tiny storage, though. I like a little bigger storage. Yeah, see, it's got the little extra room here by the bed. It's got the slide out. There's a lot of room in here. Seems like there's just a lot of open space on the floor. I like this one. Yeah. Usually don't like slide outs, just extra things to break and set up. But I love these wide bunk beds. You don't like slide out? No, because then you gotta just um, slide. They, Slide them in and out every time you set them up, and you know you got to maintenance, take care of them, maintenance, and they do give you a little extra room. But this thing is really wide to begin with. I like. All right, I think I found my next camper, the Ibex 20 foot bunkhouse. Got the dual axle. Got some nice big storage up front. This thing is wide. Got a lot of room in here. Yeah, I don't know if I want the slide out though. But look at these bunk beds. That's pretty cool. You get even a built in ladder. You actually think you're stepping on there. Yeah. Nice big kitchen again. How's the bathroom look? Let's see. Pretty big? Let's look. Yeah. Pretty decent sized. Oh, this is cool. Ooh. Cool. Nice. 
This is the Ameritalite 19.9 the bunkhouse. Yeah, all right. This is the this is the layout I like. All right. Let's come in. I like the bed that's sideways. Give you a little extra room there. I don't like when they have just a shelf here, though. I like the actual cupboards because you can't store stuff there when you're driving, really. Really? Weird. You got the four place table, which I like. Ooh, look at these. These are extra big. Usually they don't come down this deep. Like, got the big fridge, and you got the bunk beds. Let's see the bathroom. <laughs> Why? No? Is it scary? It's completely off color. Oh, the shower. They put a black shower in there. What were they thinking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of layout I like. like Alright, we're now on the bottom floor. Right where the Vikings play. You see all the stadium up there? They got a lot of RVs down here. Oh, here's a big semi-truck one. That what? My you got shocked? Look at this bad boy. Head. Finger, Definitely not getting one of these. Head. It shocked my finger. Then it shocked yeah, well, let's see what these things look like anyway, even though we're not getting one. Imagine pulling up to this in my old little primitive campsite. <laughs> oh, look at that. And oh, this is pretty big in here. It actually is pretty nice. This is a regular mobile home. This is Ooh, a huge slide out right more. here. Oh yeah, well, that one massages you too. Look at the size of this fridge. This is a full-size kitchen fridge if it Daddy, can open. There we go. Lean forward. Yeah. Look. All right. He's having a little fun here. Is it electric? Yeah. Yeah. Make well, it move. This works better when it's on down. Now this definitely yeah. works better when it's down. And the bedroom. Yeah, this you could actually live in here. Yeah, you can actually live in here. Okay, head. that was the Dynamax. Only three hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. What do you think? Sell our house and buy this? Alright, this is the Viking. Not sure what brand it is or a model it is, but mm, hello. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> and you got a big old tent off the side. There we go. It's the uh, yeah, the Viking 12 foot uh, TD Max. All right. Play football in here. This is the uh, reflection 324 MBS. It's like bigger than a hotel room. Let's see. This. Wow. Oh, whoa, you can go right through it. And it also has a bed. Oh. No one. No one feeding there. <laughs> All right. Let's see yeah, the bedroom. You could, live in here. you could. Yep. You could play football in here. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. This is a little too much for me. Okay. Now I might have found the one. This is. The uh, Keystone Springdale it's too 2010 BH. 16,000. They're selling more than that on Facebook. So, dry weight, 4,000 pounds, 22 feet, 10 inches. It feels so like it's it. summer in here. That must be overall length, I'm guessing. It feels like you Is it? Let's go check it out. It's too black. So, I like sideways bed. Storage room right here. Oh, they must have a lot of storage outside. We'll check that. Too, too black in here? Yeah. Again, I'd, I'd rather have cupboards up there than the little shelf. Uh, looks like a microwave should go up there. Too black, right? But what I like is look at the size of those bunk beds. 
You get the four place table without the slide out and giant they're a little bit are they shorter than oh, I think we could fit in there. That looks like about six feet. Ooh, no, yes. no. No, no. <laughs> what are you gonna use it? Don't use the bathroom. They're not plugged in. They got no water on them. No peeing in the campers. shower <laughs> yeah I like this one it's not too bad but it's too just bad. too black yeah I don't like the dark theme all right another uh, see imagine grand design imagine nice layout $40,000 let's see what you get for $40,000 Ooh. Daddy, I told I, you not to use the bathroom. I told. I, I repeat, there was no pee in that toilet. Oh, good. Yeah. But instead. It oh! Purple. It's purple. It's like not even a leprechaun peed in there. That was like a unicorn peed in there. Yeah. Look at these bunk beds, though. Those are sweet. Look how tall the toilet That is a tall one. All right, looking around the back. Ooh, this is a nice layout. It's taller than you. Nice little bedroom. Close the door and shut you in. I feel got? like I could just sleep once I got home. That's a good idea. I have two chores to do. Two chores? Two more chores. Well, good. Get those done. All right, this one looks pretty cool. We got a little pull-out kitchen there. And this one is Intec OVR, 65,000, that's the show price. All right. Ooh, look at that cool floor in this one. Looks like we entered the space age here. <laughs> it's got separate toilet, a little tiny. Like uh, airplane sink. Oh. So I'll tell you a little. Let me look in here. Oh, what's so uh, what's on that Shower. side? Oh. So this side's the toilet. Ooh, a tiny little sink. And this side is the shower. Yeah, pretty decent sized bedroom. Look at the, the mood lighting in here. You like this? You like living in a spaceship? <laughs> it looks like it with all the white. Is he? This is the Terra Rover. So normally $75,000 for this one. And see how big is it? I don't know how big it is. It's not too big though. They're really oh look at this got a nice curved glass up front that's kind of neat oh you need a little few plants and mood lighting in your camper kind of the same setup the old spaceship the theme here who's locked maybe someone's in there I'm gonna open the door on them yeah. <laughs> they, they, they locked you out maybe someone's yeah. taking pride the time <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to take a look at a truck camper now. This is a Lance. Show price is $75.5. Oh. This is luxury. It's got a slide out. And you hold about six people on this table. Take a look at the kitchen. Hey, you making faces in the mirror? Yeah, looks a lot nicer than the first uh, truck camper I bought. Yeah, I don't want this camper because I can't. I can barely. You can't get under the chair? He's got these nice pull-outs, doesn't it? Oh, it's locked. 
You don't want to let me in. It's blowing hot air out. Yeah. All right, let's let the other people in. Yeah. All right, we got a whole row of truck campers here. This is the Arctic Fox, forty-eight thousand dollars. And we just even got a little awning out here. Whoa! Falling off. Well, that's a little different layout. It's got a chain. It says, do not go up here. Um, Where are you going? Yeah. yeah. There's where the fridge is and the bathroom's right up front Oh, here. is this like the one that we, we still have? That's like yes. that one? Yeah, but mine's way smaller. Alright, same one, but an Arctic Fox 990. So it's a little bit fancier apparently looks pretty similar actually so what's different about this one yeah, it looks a little different here I guess yeah it seems like a lot of weight on the back of your truck <laughs> yeah they have this exact picture well, look at them all standing on top of there it says when we say full walk on roof, we mean it. <laughs> when I told Reed there was no five feet campers, well, I, this this might be it. <laughs> the soaring eagle. This one, eighteen thousand dollars. Eighteen for this thing. You can almost squeeze in here. <laughs> It's got, it's literally a table that turns into a bed. That's all you get. What's down here? Power. Ow! Shocked me again. Yeah. We've been getting shocked like crazy. Yeah, that's all there is to that one. Okay, here's a more uh, realistic version. Let's see, we'll go. I'll check out. Let's check out the Cirrus first for. Uh, Oh, I was right gonna say it's only ten thousand dollars, but no, it's saved ten thousand. There is such a thing as a five foot camp. There is? Yeah, right there. I told you it's kinda of modern looking in here. I told you You did tell me. Okay, here's our base model for twenty two nine. Now that this one. is like a five feet two. Let's see. Same. It's got, a, it's got the cooler. It's oh, it does have a potty. <laughs> What's in that? Is that a storage? storage? This thing pulls this thing. Oh, that's so, different. You know, king size. Yeah. I see. It's like the boat for the bump stops. Yeah. <coughs> This is pretty much all you really need. Yeah, if you're gonna do one, I'd do something like this. This would be a two-person camper. Yeah. So there's no actual fridge other than this cooler. And that little. And the microwave up there. Yeah. You got the four corner jacks, the big manual crank jacks. There's what the front looks like. All right, a mini light. Here's the uh, Rockwood, thirty-five thousand. See what we got here. The Murphy bed pull-out one there, which I'm not a fan of. I do like these U-shaped uh, seating areas. You can get a lot of people in there. How's the toilet? It looks interesting. Yeah. Ooh, it looks like a porcelain spots. toilet. There's pink spots everywhere. Do you know what that is? What? It's antifreeze. They put it in the winter to keep the lines from freezing up. This is a nice feature, though. Look at, uh... Pull that up. I just want to take a break. Take a break? My legs are tired. Are they? Yeah. 
Yeah, all right, one more truck camper we gotta look at. This one looks pretty nice. This is, uh, what is this one? I am sure. It's got carpet in it. Full size shower. Large table. Where? Is there even a TV up in the bedroom? Find the toilet. I see it right there. Where? Alright. Kitchen. That ain't the toilet's right here. I see it. It's in the shower. It's another shower toilet. <laughs> I shower while you're going to the bathroom. Did you, uh, did you get it? That was the 2XE LE wet bath. Okay, Reed, what was your favorite part of this? Um, my favorite thing would probably have been looking up the houses. Yeah, there's some tiny houses over here that he really likes. Those aren't even campers, though. After walking through that many campers, they all start looking the same. Uh, I guess the big thing is, which layout do you like? The I, house. Yeah, you like the house. But bunk house is what I need right now because I have kids. There's a lot of them set up for just, you know, couples and stuff. All right, if you want to go small, this is the Rove built by TLRV, it says. Right there, 14, looks like bunk house. 26,000. So, you like it or not? I would get this one. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got a nice... Two bunks there, so you can sleep two people in here. This was a little bit, so. <clears throat> well, I could fit, um, two yeah. people. You can make that a bed and fit three people, so. Yeah, three Not people. Bad. You even got a little air conditioner built into the side. Uh, yeah, that's really bad. Alright, same thing, but this one is $35,000, and it doesn't have the bunks. So, you said you got the couch. Oh, yeah, you got a fancy electric stove. That's the uh, think. induction stove there. Yeah. So, there's okay, say so there's no actual bed. bed, you just got to fold that down and yeah. make a bed. Yeah. yeah, I don't like this one so much. All right, this is an Intech RV, kind of space age looking. $43,000. It's got this nice spaceship window up front. U shaped dining. This is a comes with fake apples. Base camps. You see those? No. They're like stainless. Yeah, it's got all the white back into the spaceships. Yeah, you can definitely. Oh, it comes with a family a picture. Pineapple. Huh? A Popcorn. Fake pineapple. Yeah. There it is. All right, I hope you enjoyed the show and walking through a few campers with us. Uh, we had a good time. I think I figured out what I like, and hopefully in the future I'll be able to get one. All right, everyone, see you later.